there's your uh, point that I can ask you on very clearly. Rajiv Chandrasekhar stating, who is powerful, indirectly referring to Shashi Tharoor, who he will now likely stand against, to say, I don't think anyone's powerful really. The people decide. Rashid Kidwai, do you think this is also, again, like we are talking about BJP, a certain projection? Who decides who is powerful? Yeah, so I think uh, we see a lot of, you know, bravado. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the BGP does not have, you know, much uh, bench strength, so to say, or uh, credible, winnable candidates in uh, states like Kerala, states like Bengal. Yes. So what they are doing is that any name that is, you know, big enough or can, you know, excite people. Because remember, in politics, this kind of excitement and perception, it matters a lot. But will it translate into, you know, results and favorable results? I have my own, uh, you know, doubt and apprehensions you see even this head start part it's very good we are in this news business so we feel that you know 195 so it's wonderful the bgp has taken a huge head start but in the end of the day you know when elections are fought it makes very little material difference because remember there is a poll schedule uh, elections have to be formally announced and then there is a date for uh you know uh filing nomination and withdrawal, all those things are there. So mm. it, it gives a, a kind of, you know, and BGP is very good at building, as I did earlier also I told you, Mahal, perception. But it is for the opposition to come up with, the, you know, credible names, winnable, uh, 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 you know, parties and uh, candidates, so particularly if, uh, if Congress can have an alliance with Mamta Banerjee, it's not too late in, ben in Bengal, then you'll have a fight. I think in Bengal, uh, the BJP is really facing a very formidable uh, opponent mm -hmm. in Mamta energy she's very crafty she knows uh you know the business and she has the ability to outsmart uh, the bgp she has done it in assembly elections and lok sabha is a litmus test so i would be very keen to see the outcome of uh you know bgp campaign in bengal because uh that is one state where the bgp has a you know has found a mm -hmm. i mean uh the Mamta energy has a match uh and something to offer to them uh you know, there are a lot of things that have happened. I, I, I am not trying to take away any credit, but look at, you know, in Bhopal, uh, the BJP has uh, denied ticket to uh, uh, Sadhvi Pratya. I mean, she won last time she was a giant killer and uh, she yes. defeated uh, uh, the Vijay Singh of the Congress. This time the BJP has given ticket to a person who had lost assembly election uh, at Alok Sharma. A lot of experiment is taking place. I don't know what will be the outcome. But BJP's bottom line is there is a lot of confidence, bravado, they're very sure-footed. So, you know, when they say something or they do something, they give an impression, particularly in media, as if, you know, they are in, you know, nobody can beat them at all. But the reality is somewhat, uh, you know, different. Rajdeep, you know, can I take that question to you to, to remove Pragya Singh Thakur? Do you think is, is it a message that when I said, and I remember when Prime Minister Modi had said that this, these comments have hurt me, it was also to ensure that that controversy is done and dusted because had that name been announced possibly, it could have led to another share of controversy. But Ajay Mishra Taini, that name, while uh, in controversy indirectly, has been retained as well. So what do you make of this comment to drop the Bhopal name, which is such an important constituency for BJP? Look, uh, Bhopal is a relatively safe constituency uh, for the BJP mm. given what's happened in uh, recent elections there. So I don't really, uh, you know, hold much store by the fact that they've dropped Sadhvi Pragya. Uh, I know that even when she was given the ticket, there was an element of opposition even at yes. that time. But at that time, the BJP wanted to ride this Hindutva wave. In 2024, you're not looking, uh, you don't need to ride the Hindutva wave through a Sadhvi Pragya Thakur. You've already done the Ram uh, Mandir consecration ceremony, uh, the Pran Pratishta. So the BJP doesn't really need to re-emphasize that they are the party of Hindutva. That's done and dusted. Mm. So to that extent, you don't really need a Sadhvi Pragya who contributes uh, a very little apart from being seen as a contentious polarizing figure. I was uh, perhaps the winnability factor is what has saved uh, 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 Ajay Mishra Taini. Remember, in the Vidhan Sabha elections that took place, the BJP did spectacularly well in the Lakhimpur KV belt, despite the controversies that surrounded Mr. Taini. Mm. But it will give the opposition a chance to claim that this government, which says it's sympathetic towards the farmer, is actually anti farmer. So I guess the BJP has calculated that risk. I just wanted a word on Thiruvananthapuram. Uh, where yes, you'll have a interesting converse, uh, you know, contest, especially for us uh, in English news channels. You've got a Shashi Tharoor yes. versus a Rajiv Chandrasekhar. I mean, if you had to have a nice uh, debate, a kind of big fight, 
uh, you could do that between the two of them, put them up on the podium. Both are articulate English language speakers. Tharoor has won three consecutive elections there. Uh, when he went into Tiruvananthapuram, it was not an easy seat for the Congress. The left was a formidable opponent there. Uh, the BJP has never won a Lok Sabha seat in Kerala. Tiruvananthapuram, when O Raj Gopal was there, was one of the seats where there was one occasion where they gave a fight. Uh, but it will be interesting to see how the left now plays it. Now that Shashi Tharoor has been pitted uh, uh, against a Rajiv Chandrasekhar, what role does the left play in a, in a seat like Tiruvananthapuram where both the left and uh, uh, the yeah. Congress are part of the India Alliance, but that's one of the you know when I, if I look at the standout contest based on this first seats uh, for declaration of seats, it's Tharoor versus Rajiv Chandrasekhar. Uh, a nice elections on my plate probably hmm. awaits us in uh, uh, in Kerala. Uh, obviously, not easy for the BJP uh, to uh, to win that seat, but they could increase their vote share and as Rashid said create a certain buzz and excitement that even in Kerala, we are putting all our uh, energies in a state where we've never won a Lok Sabha seat. So create this mahal uh, that uh, we are in it for the fight mm -hmm. in every seat.